Hello, friends. So let me get my iPad up and running. Of course, now it decides it's going to just go away. Oh. <laughs> Turn off the sound. I'm trying. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the echo is real. The echo okay. is really fun. Okay, so... <laughs> myself over. I feel like I'm not really on the screen here. We need to get a little closer. Something. Get a okay. little closer with arid extra dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. Hey, Deeds. Morning, Deeds. Good to see you. So we've had kind of an interesting morning, y'all. So just bear with us. Um... Yeah, I just found out that a friend passed away this morning. Um, so my heart is a little bit heavy, but I'm going to try to not let that interfere with the uh, the uh, morning's festivities. So um, she's with Jesus, so that is certainly a good thing. But um, there's morning, a, lot of, a lot of hurting people right now. So Yes. Anyway. Hello, Esther. Good morning. Um, yes, uh, Deed says, oh gosh, a song and a dance too. <laughs> You're welcome, Deeds. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, okay. So how's everybody doing? It's been, um, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm trying to think when was the last time it was two, three weeks ago, three weeks ago. Cause yeah. we couldn't do it last week. We both had other, other plans. Um, so we couldn't do it last week, but we're going to make up for it because we're actually doing it today and we're going to be back again next week. <laughs> so, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We're not able to kind of keep this schedule going the way we wanted to, but life doesn't always allow for that. So, no. so we're going to do, we're going to do today and then we're going to do next Monday as well. So be prepared, mental note it, put it on your calendar. Good morning, Janice. Um... Okay, so today we are going to be using um, a release. few, uh, yes, we're going to be using some of the February release, what? So you're going to get some sneak peeks of that, and we're also going to be using the color green, we're going to be using a stencil or more stencils, because you know, one stencil is never enough, mm -hmm. kind of like chips, you know, you just kind of keep going. Mm -hmm. Um... And what was the other thing? Flora? Flora. Yes. The word flora is kind of a weird word, but it covers all the bases. Plant life of some sort. Yes. I'm sure we'll add some fauna in there as well, most likely. Fauna? Fauna. Fauna. Floral, flora and fauna? Flora and fauna. Yes. So, um, anyway, don't mind us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm even wearing green. And so are you. Oh, yeah. We're perfect for this today. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. How cool. We're like, we're in it. We're in it to win we're it. We're in it to win it. Okay. So, and we're doing some art journaling. Is that what we're doing? Or junk journaling? Or what are you going to work on? Yeah, I'm going to make. Are you going to make a journal? I am. Seriously. So I. Kelly being extra. What a um, surprise. I went and grabbed all sorts of green facets. Good heavens. Look at this girl. So, um, you know, painted papers that I've already made. That is awesome. And then blanks. So then I figured we could, I could stencil on them. And then yeah, and then I'll tear them up and a, make a little. I'm, I'm feeling mini. a little, uh, a little like I wasn't prepared for the party. You were, you are, because you're gonna oh, yeah. art journal. I've got, my, I've got my journal. I've got, I've got some things out, but <laughs> we're well, doing our personalities we are. right we now. We definitely are. Okay, yes. so I've got my clean little area, and you've got your stack of things. I suppose, yes. right? Okay. So you're going to make a, a little, a little journal, a little journal. Yep. And I think I'm going to work in my art journal. So this, I need to do some, you know, decorating this, this needs some love, but for right now it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So I have my art journal that has already has some pages in it. Um, from recently, this is a page I didn't actually finish because I ran out of time when I was teaching a class. So we're going to just leave that one. It's no big deal. And I'm going to go to this other page, I think. 
Maybe I should close it this way. We'll see. So yes, we are going to be using um, our newest stencil. Check this out, you guys. I don't know if this is... Can I have a piece of paper, green? Or the one that... Just to show them a little bit easier, maybe. Can you guys see this? So this is... Um, our new stencil for February. It's called Floral Doily and it is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, it is designed by none other than Jen Nilsson. And so we will be playing with this today. Oh good, uh, Bible journaling. Uh, Deeds is gonna Bible journal with us. So, nice. So we're gonna be using that. I still don't really know I want to, I need to add some layers to this, I think, before I get mm -hmm. too involved in my products, but let's see. I should have grabbed some paint before I, before I sat down. Did everybody have a good weekend? Yes. Tell us about, tell us about your weekend. Tell us what's going on in your world. I worked on, um, kind of organizing. <laughs> my office and did some cleaning so um so that was good Maybe and we're just going to scribble this over can't oh, really see good. that too much oh yeah it's probably a little too light it's a little too light i just want to layer some paint on here that's white because i've got some um i've got some uh, not bleed through so much, but like ghosting, I guess. So I think I'm gonna. I also need to grab a piece of paper to go under this because this is gonna get a little. Yeah. Get your under paper. Get my under paper. Yeah, I didn't actually bring my mat out today. Uh oh. Guys, I'm all out of whack. This morning she has is. been. I could not get my act together this morning and then you know the, the blows keep on coming so <laughs> oh yeah yeah esther says she worked on projects using the february release nice uh -huh. and i know without a doubt they are beautiful did yes. you save the scraps for us esther yes <clears throat> yeah when are we expecting when are, our yep, scrap when is our, package when is our happy mail coming <laughs> we're ready for it did some crafting with my friends Friday and Saturday. Heather Witt was one of them. Yay! Aww. That's awesome. Yeah, Heather did say that she had stopped in, and she and a few of the ladies had stopped in. Yes, I was sad to miss you guys. I was so excited. She came in and she bought my I stamp saw that. set, and I was just I so that. excited. That's awesome. Actually, I think we're out. Of your stamp set? Yes. How is that even possible? Uh, because we sold them all. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like there were some hanging there the last time I looked over there. No, I... I well, shoot. I we're going to have to place an order, place I guess. Place an order. Uh, oh my goodness. I have Esther a has a package, package for us. Yay. I'm excited. Yes, because we're going to... We'll, we'll make a video. Yeah. Well, when we get Esther's package, we'll make a video, and maybe that'll be part of our challenge. We have to use some of Esther's scraps in our video. Yes. Challenge accepted. Yep. Yep. We're there for it. We are totally there for it. All right. I'm going to go dry this real fast. Um, so, yeah. And actually, Nirvana came over yesterday, and we hung out, and... Are you serious? Yeah. And she helped me organize a little bit. Oh, my word. That's so fun. And then... Um, and then we created some background pages. So this is actually that is so much fun. The one I created, painting. I did a flower and Ooh. some some flora. So it was kind of funny because I did flora and I used green. And oh, that's hilarious! This was before. So when I said that to you. You were probably like, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't even know that that was going to be the challenge. But now I'm going to use this in my journal today. That is funny. That is really fun. I don't think I left. This isn't quite dry, but that's okay. So. No big deal. Okay. That is oh, thank so you, fun. Esther. So much fun. I am loving botanicals and flowers lately. Mm -hmm. It's really been my jam. 
Love it. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now, I don't know. I'm a little nervous to do this, you guys. I'm going to be experimenting. I thought I would play with the Lindy's Magicals. This is Rusty Lantern Lime, supposedly. That and that do not quite look no. the same, but we're going to see what happens. It is very green, um, if I remember. The thing I'm worried about, though, is if I don't put... I'm not sure how this is going to sit on top of paint. And I'm a little bit nervous that if I put it on here, it's going to bleed through. When I make it wet, it's going to bleed through this. Did you just use paint or did you use... I just used paint to kind of cover some of this up. But if I you use a little used... bit of clear gesso... Yes, or maybe the Liquitex gel, matte gel medium, but I don't know how it's going to sit on that. Like, I don't know if it needs a non-porous, well, I mean, it. a porous surface. <laughs> you guys, we don't know what we're doing up in here. We're just going to, we're just going to. The point is to sh show make them. Make it happen. We can show you what not to do. <laughs> show you what not to do. Um. This little thing is. Has anybody played with the Lindy's Magicals that's watching? Because that would be fun to uh, to hear your experience with it. I love the Lindy's. I think I'll just take this little brush. And if it bleeds through, oh well, it's just art. That's right. All right, so I'm going to pick up. So this is the, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is the Lindy's Magicals. It's a pigment powder that has like mica in it. And it looks one way, but then when you add water, it looks different. So I'm gonna just use my brush here and flick some of this powder. You probably can't see this because it's not super. It's not a good angle. Well, it's not a good angle, but it's also not um, a lot. You know, I'm just kinda. Putting a little bit on. And the crazy thing is, is when you go to spray it, you don't even realize there's color in certain areas. And you're like, whoa, hello. Because it's that pigmented. So Deed says, yes, those magicals are especially fun to use with emboss resist techniques. Yes. Cool. Very I cool. haven't done that yet. And I've been actually thinking about doing a little video. So I'm with that. kind of a little bit afraid now. I'm a little bit afraid. I don't really want to spray it because I know if I spray it, it's going to go flying. Like the powder sometimes goes all over. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to maybe tap some water on here. So right now I'm just doing marks <clears throat> on my paper. I don't know if you guys can see how where it's wet it got. Like... You can see the green is starting to come out when you're doing... I'm oh, just doing marks. You. I'm going to just use this as like a paint and kind of zhuzh it around. Zhuzh it. Zhuzh it. And then spray it. Because I don't want all that powder. Look at all that powder that flew out. Yes. From, from there. Okay. So this is going to be crazy. And I'm going to have to dry this again because obviously it's very wet. So I grabbed every green pen, watercolor pen, Sharpie, crayon, pencil that, that I had at the house. <laughs> she was serious about it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of cool. Then you can see because you get such a different look with everything. Um, taking it really seriously. I take my junk seriously. <laughs> All right, so there's another. So what do you guys think is, is in our release this month? You probably can see a little glimpse of it, maybe, in this video. Maybe on the table, you might be able to see some of it. But, uh, this isn't quite dry, but it did, I do get that shimmer. This is actually kind of fun right here. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if you guys can see, but just from spraying the um, the powders, my under paper, you probably can't see it. I'm not able to see. It's really a bummer you can't see the, the color. There's like flecks of color all around here. And I don't know that you can see it in the video just because of, you know, lighting and stuff. But it is kind of cool. I'm going to have to wait for all of this to dry. <clears throat> to dry completely. Unless I tap it. Maybe I'll pick some of it up just so that we have, don't have to wait forever. Blot it. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about that. So we're just going to... I don't want to just use green, so I'm going to actually add some other colors in here. Maybe I will do... This is Mermaid Lagoon. Mermaid Lagoon. Distress Oxide. And I'm going to add some stenciling, maybe. I don't know what this is going to be like, guys. I have no idea. That's the point. No idea. We're just going to go with it. So who does art journaling? Does anybody do art journaling? Where you just kind of play with different things in a, in a book or um, something like a book. Hello, Debbie Sexton and Leanne Fain, I see, have joined. Trish, I haven't had much success with Lindy. Oh, no. I do think there's some learning curve with it, and maybe it depends on, like, what you're putting it on. Yeah, what I've you're made doing some really cool backgrounds with it actually, and if I can find them, I will show them to you. Um, I'm not sure if they're in my other bag, but I have made some really cool backgrounds with them. Yeah, maybe I'll use some of the. <laughs> So here, oh, here's a really cool background that I made with the Lindy's, and also this one's pretty funky. I think this is the one um, that I just used now. I think that one might be the same colors. I'm not really sure, but Rusty Lantern Lime is oh, what she is. I have it here. I... So we're just gonna see what happens. We don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna wanna... I'm gonna do mine on this bright green paper and see, see what, what kind of background. Will. I feel like I need my heat tool like right now. I know because I don't want to have to keep getting up, but I have to dry in between layers. So I don't know. This does not look like much right now, and it's upside down to you. But this is what I've got so far. It literally just looks like a mess. Mine don't look near that good. Well, what are you, um, what paper are you doing them on? Maybe that, maybe that's part of it. Hey, Brandy. Oh, you overthink. Well, see, I'm a huge overthinker. And so I just have to just let go and just layer and layer and layer until I like it. So that's kind of how I roll. But but I get it, believe me, because I'm totally an overthinker. Rolling down the highway. Oh, here we got songs again. Songs with Kelly. Could be a, okay. That could be like our own YouTube channel. Songs with Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I sprayed my stencil that had the blue ink on it. And um, to make an opposite impression. And so now I've got... I don't know if you can see that. Now I've got that that has to dry. You can sort of see the um, the impression that I got. So it's a little hard to see. It on is. Green. You can see You're the missing all the color, the pretty color. I have a feeling my under paper is going to look really cool when this is all said. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. I really wish this would dry like fast because I don't want 
Why don't you plug to keep getting in? I don't know if we there? should plug one in over here. Let me see if we have. You want the lighter, the quieter one? Oh, it's one. right by the. There is a plug right there. It can it reach? That's the question. Don't mind us. This is real, real life. Lack of preparations. You know, it's all good. Um. Okay. So. And I actually totally forgot to say, for those of you who are new and have never watched us before, um, I'm Corinne and that's Kelly over there. And we are at the Stampers Boutique, which is the home of Sweet and Sassy Stamps in Rankin, Georgia, just outside of Savannah. So if you are joining us, we are glad you're here. If you're watching the replay, you can let us know. We are glad you are doing that too. Um... This is a very informal, topsy-turvy, no one knows what's going to happen. <laughs> crafty, no, not even us. Not even us. Crafty session. <laughs> I can't reach, you guys. I have to, like, get out of screen a little bit to get my, my dryer to work. But So this is kind of what we've got so far. It's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. I don't know if you can see all of that, but... I'm going to keep adding some layers, though, so it'll be fun. Um, in fact, I'm going to use a bunch of different mediums today, I think. Yeah. So I used the Stress Oxide ink. I used the Lindy's Magicals. I don't know if we should stick this here, maybe. I don't know if people can see it if it's right next to us. It is sort of mixed media today. We're actually art journaling. Yes. Hello from Canada, Annabella. Hey, Annabella. Awesome to have you. So on the green. So it looks more brownish it looks on the green more because of the rust, orange, maybe. Yeah. Rust colored. You can kind of well, see the say, turquoise. Yeah, it is very rusty colors it's in there. Rusty. Um, it's cool. All right. So I don't know if I want to add this now so or if I want to add it later. You guys, we are just a hot mess over here. We just don't even know what we are doing. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this. Um, this is chartreuse stencil butter from the Crafters Workshop. If you can see this. Sorry, I, I should know these things, but I don't always remember. My memory is the best. I'm going to just take, it's kind of got a, it's got a shimmer to it. And I think that's going to go well with my Lindy's shimmer. So I think I'm going to just do some, um, just add some of it to certain areas in my, on my page here to make some layers. Um, Annabella, um, we do both. So right now I am actually making, uh, my own journal with background pages that I've created and then some background pages that I'm going to create today. And then Corinne is doing... I'm actually just doing it in, a, in my art journal. Yes. Even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Just, it's, it's just whatever. It's just, we're just making it happen over here. No idea what I'm doing. But I guess that's the fun of it. Because I don't have to know. This is the... This is the um, Enjoy the journey session, right? Like, it's not so much the finished product yes, as it is the process to get there. I think that's one of the things about, um, um, about art journaling that maybe intimidates people. Because as a card maker, we're typically more focused on the end project. Right. And obviously that it's, you know, nice and pretty mm -hmm. in the way we want it to look. And so art journaling, you have to kind of let go of that and you just have to have fun as you go and enjoy that process. And that's what we talked about in my art journaling class um, a couple weeks ago. So Trish Cox says, Karen, I just found your Facebook page, but I've been using your stamps for a while. I'm so thankful that you offer such great Christian stamps. I talked to you last week when I had questions about the free digital download. I live in Chattanooga and I wish I were closer to you. Aw. Thank you. You guys seem like such fun. Aw, that's so sweet, Trish. Thank well, you. I'm glad that you uh, 
that you found us and yes that you are enjoying our products um i'm sorry that i'm not exactly on screen here my beat tool is not not close enough to me um that's awesome and yes it was great to chat with you digital products are definitely a challenge um if you if you've never used them before but they get easier as as you go as you figure them out so yes they do um so okay so annabella was saying about she wanted to start junk journaling yes totally do it it's so much fun yeah definitely so much fun and just just start don't just start start with what you have and literally you can um use what you have and literally if you start just looking around you have so much in your house you can use totally paper bags this is just graph paper any kind of any kind of paper whatsoever um and then yeah you can just add to it as you go all right i'm getting in, i'm getting a little crazy here i'm gonna add some more lindy's to this this one is um i have no idea what these colors are going to end up looking like no clue but the color that i'm using now is shabby turbine teal can you tell i have a color palette favorite color palette it's like i literally can't yes. even stray away from it all right so i'm going to show you hopefully on screen the powder is like right in here and let me see if i can do this where i can see when i spray it it starts to can you see where the powder is like coming to life so there's a lot of pigment in there and it's just, it's just beautiful. Okay. So there's not a whole lot of green in that. That's more of the teal, but that's okay because I am using the teal. So no big deal. Okay. Right. Um, I think, I think I'm going to, yes, Tina. Tina's going to come one day and do a junk journal. Oh us. yes. We have, we have so much fun doing the junk journaling. Um, we have a few people that have literally taken every, every class single. and <laughs> okay. So I have to tell you about one of our, one of our ladies. Yeah. So if you think you can't do junk journaling or do any kind of art whatsoever, you have to meet one of our customers. Her name is Shelby, mm -hmm. and she is blind, okay? Yep. And she has taken every single junk journal class that we have had. And her husband comes with her, Norm. Mm -hmm. They are the cutest, best couple ever. Yes. Seriously, husband goals. Husband, <laughs> husband goals. Husband goals, yes. If you need your husband to, you know, to have some goals, he needs to meet Norm. And she creates a journal every single time with norm's help and norm helps her and he describes um, the pages like yep. the colors to her but she loves the texture check she's all so about she, the texture so she enjoys junk journaling because she can feel the textures of the papers and yes. the fibers even though she can't see the colors and so he explains the colors to her yes so she can envision because she wasn't always blind no so she can envision um i think she some kind of health situation occurred. It was like a health-related blindness, I believe, right? Some, I think so, I yes. forget what it was specifically. But anyway, um, they're just the coolest. They're just the coolest couple. Just to see them, um, you know. And it just goes to show that literally anybody, yep. anybody can do it. And it's yep. not about the... Oops. Obviously, she can't see, so it's not about her seeing the end product. Right. It's about the feeling. It's the feel of it that and she the, really enjoys. Yeah, and just being able to... Create. Go, yep, to create something despite her not being able to see it. So, we have no excuse, you guys. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has an excuse. If we... If we... Um, if we can see, yes, we should we should embrace the beauty that is art and 
and just enjoy that journey and that process. Um, it's really, really cool to watch to watch Shelby and Norm um, with um, the junk journaling. Mm -hmm. And it's quite humbling, too. <laughs> yeah, it makes so. you appreciate... Um, it makes you appreciate what you have. Yep. And things that we totally take for granted, like yeah. being able to see. Yeah. yeah, definitely like being able to see. Okay, so that was really thick, really heavy. Cool. So I think what I'm going to do is actually take another one of these pages and pick up some of it. Woo, look at all of that. It is crazy. Crazy. So much pigment. So much pigment. And it actually, when it sits on top, so it does kind of a weird thing when it sits on top of, um, on top of the paint. I'm just going to rip this because I just want to pick up some of this. And I'm going to make this wet to pick up some of it. See, look at all that color and that pigment from the Lindy's that was kind of sitting on top of my page. There's so much color. Now, I know that's kind of a, a muddy, a muddy sort of a green, but... But it's cool it's looking. It's actually pretty cool. And it has lots of flecks. Like you can see the orange yes. and the teal in there. So um, look at my 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 um oh yeah, my, uh, just so cool. under paper under is paper. starting to really look crazy. Um so the, for those of you who weren't here last time, an under paper is literally a paper that you have under whatever you're working on. And the cool thing about it is you kind of get the splatters or whatever, and then eventually it's all kind of filled up. And you can use cut this. It down. Cut, cut it down. Cut it down. Make some junk journal pages. Or use it on a background for a card. Yep. Yeah, or, or die, die cut die leaves. Cut words or leaves or yep. whatever, images. Yeah. Totally. So right now I'm using a just a basic brown, thin craft paper that like you use in preschool. You know, the color yeah, on. Yeah. And I did a jelly, some jelly printing, because jelly printing is so my jam, um, background, and now I'm just stamping um, some images on it. Um, and whenever I stamp, I know you guys are like, a lot of you are professional stampers. <laughs> I always, like if I stamp one, I'll take the leftover, whatever's left, and just stamp on my on under paper. paper. Mm -hmm. Because why waste, why waste that stamp ink? Right. Um, so, anyway, it's just a tip. To, to tip for, for, the, for those of you who want to do the junk journal, want to embrace some of that junk journaling vibe we got going on, this is a great tip. Yes. Okay, so I just added a little bit more... I mean, you can tell this is like, there's a lot of texture and craziness going on here, but I just stenciled a little bit more to add that teal back in. So it's kind of getting, I don't know if you can even see it very well, but it's okay. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. And okay, so you're using a new stamp set. You didn't mention anything Sorry. about it. Yes. So a new stamp set. Um, I actually designed this one. And it's called Bold Blooms. So this is for February. Um, let's see. Here. Do the, I got it right here. So it has um, a few different floral images. That'll be super fun to color or watercolor. And then the sayings are, God's got this. Keep believing. Stay strong. You are held in his hand. And so that is just a really encouraging set um there's a little there's a leaf up here which i think you have right now right? yes um and it does have the coordinating dies so that's awesome and that is what kelly is using at the moment i think i'm gonna get this new set out 
So this one is called Secret Garden. It is so fabulous. If you do any kind of junk journaling or art journaling or obviously card making, anything, 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 anything. This set is so awesome. Look at that moth image. Isn't that amazing? And um, it also comes with dimes. So they're loose in here right now. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten my little magnetic pieces to put in there, but this is gonna be so much fun for junk, junk journaling, um, art journaling, all the things. So, all the journals. All the things. So I think I'm gonna use this little mushroom image and stamp it like down here in this corner, mm -hmm. right there. Hopefully it will stamp okay on some of my texture, but we'll see. All right, now, oops. That needs to dry. The thing about stamping when you art journal is that you do have a lot of texture like on your pages, so okay. it can be a little bit tricky to stamp. But, um, so I don't really, I don't typically stamp for perfect images when I do art journaling or junk journaling. I typically do it more for the texture that it provides, like the, mm -hmm. you know, because it adds another element of, I don't know, I guess you could say texture. Um, and then um, if I want something to really show up, then I'll stamp it like on cardstock or something and then like glue it down on my page. So that's a way if you are getting into the art journaling and you get frustrated about stamping on a page mm -hmm. that has all kinds of stuff going on, or if the back of your page, you know, has stuff going on and it's, um, yeah, you know, it's textured or raised you know, you want to make sure you can, you can get that image on there. So, okay. So let's see what else do I want to do right now. So Trish says she's loving all of the green. Uh -huh. Yes. And Kristen says she loves that we're using so many products. Yes. We just kind of, we're just going crazy. <laughs> we don't even know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even know what we're doing. We're just having fun because that's what it's all about. It is. And I'm just using my all my pens here, and I'm going to create some leaves, botanical leaves to cut out. And I'm using one of my jelly printed background papers. And I think I will. Let me do. A little Look at bit. you. A little bit of... You're just so free. I am. She's just so free with her. I just do it. She just does it. I can't, I can't overthink because then I don't, it doesn't work for me. Well, and it's not an, it's not very enjoyable when you're an overthinker. <laughs> it really isn't very enjoyable. It just makes it super stressful. All right, so maybe I'll do some of these little ferns. Um, hmm, do I want to do it in, I think I'm going to get, uh, Versafine ink. Okay, so I need to dry this. Oh, we're both getting up and leaving the Sorry. Screen. Sorry, guys. I'm going to grab this one. Okay, so I'm going to use some Versafine Deep Lagoon, and I'm going to, ooh, maybe I don't want to do that. That's very dark. Hold on a second. Let me see how this looks. Mm. Well, maybe if I stamp off, it would be okay. It's very blue. It's a lot more blue than I expected. See how, how dark that is? I don't think I expected that based off of the lid, but that's okay. Because if I stamp off, then I can get that faint color. Oh, that's pretty. You see how it's like, it matches more of the colors that I've got going on here now that I've got the, the lighter, the second generation as they call it. Right now I'm just using the black Posca pen and kind of outlining my leaf, making little vine, veins, not vines. <laughs> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> it's Monday. We we don't know what we're saying sometimes. We just you just don't know what it's gonna come out. And it definitely felt like a Monday this morning. My poor husband forgot both of his phones at work. I mean at home. So his work phone and his um home phone or his, not his home phone. I can't even talk. His phone. personal phone. He forgot both of them sitting on the table this morning. So of Did he course, have to come he back? got to work. He got to work and realized it. And I had no way of letting him know because he didn't have his phone. So bless him, he had to come home. Well, he only picked him up while we were here because he texted me. Or no, he tried calling, I think. Oh, that's right. And um, to let me know that he was back online. <laughs> <laughs> He's back from out of space. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to try to show you the progress. Lots of layers, lots of colors. Um, and I'm going to add, it's not really zooming in very well or focusing very well, but I'm sorry. So it's just got a lot of stuff going on. And I'm going to add some bigger, like, focal points to it as I, as I go. Alright, so now I'm going to create or cut out my handmade hand-drawn botanical leaves I'm not sure what I want to use or I should use this okay. I might paint with let's see what happens here I'm gonna use the distress oxide ink just to kind of paint and outline my my little moth image that I put on here just to give it some more depth okay so what else is going on had a call just before we went live hello Kathy Oh, cool. So Deed said she messed around with some alcohol pearls and she loved it. Green pearls, yay. Fun. Very nice. Fun, fun, fun. All right. So um, I think I'm, I'm just going to... What do you need? I'm just going to take one of these colors. I just have to determine which one I want. I think I'm going to start... Look at all your green, girl. I know. Putting my... Going green. Going green. I feel like we should have done this episode in like March or something. <laughs> right? <laughs> with, all the, with all this green. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Put together. My. All right. Here. So I am painting again. I know we've got these awkward silences. I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like we should be talking, but I don't know if you always want to hear everything we're saying. So, but I'm using Mode Lawn to do some painting. And I think I want, maybe I'll add a, like a gold color. Oh yeah. Or a brown, sort of a brown color. I'm shedding everywhere. A brown color to my um, mushrooms. So tell us what you think we should do in our next episode. Talk to us, friends. Or are you joining us right now? Are you playing along? All right, I'm using um, Walnut Stain now just to add a little bit of color to. Thanks, Trish. Yeah, I'm loving all the greens. I. It's kind of mm -hmm. cool using like mostly everything, even though that's not what we have to do. But trying to use green 
Almost everything is, it kind of, it feeds the creative soul. You have to really think. To add all your greens? Yeah. So you're making a totally green themed junk journal. Journal. Little journal. That's exciting. All right, so I think I'm going to stamp this awesome moth because I just love it. And um, I think I'm going to stamp it on some cardstock and then die cut it, color it, and all that jazz. Or actually, I think it would be cool if I just like stamped it on one of these Lindy's Pearls things. Oh, yes, with the. Hmm. Yeah, and then die cut it out of the paper? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because you already have the background given it all the colors. Hmm. 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 I wouldn't even have to color it. Let's see here. Okay. Now so, I. So. So if you're here and you just tuned in recently, say hey. We would love to know who's watching. Say hey. Don't be shy. Say hey. <laughs> Don't be shy. With air it extra dry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> oh, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. I'm like losing it over here. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Do I want that maybe there? Well, it's committed, and, and we've got to do it now. <laughs> Just go. I'm committed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's cool. What do you do with your finished junk journals, Kelly? Do you add quotes or scriptures? Is it just about the pretty artistic pages? Hey, Katie. Tell our girls who said hey. Hey, Katie. Um, yes, I kind of just do marks on some of the pages. I write a couple words, but I don't do much after I create the journal with the, um, I just put them on my shelf. <laughs> she just, she just enjoys the process. Yeah. It's it very the therapeutic and yes, I could give them away deeds. Yeah, I should do that. I like to turn my uh, junk journals into um, art journals. So one of my um, one of my junk journals has become like I actually can do like what I'm doing right now in my junk journal which is fun um and then i'm trying to do something weird here i don't know if this is going to work oh deeds that's really sweet she said i just finished one to send to my sister-in-law who's got a tumor in her head Ooh, that's sweet that is very um very sweet and a very good idea <clears throat> Yes, definitely. Okay, so um, sometimes I also will put like scripture in them. Um, you can even use them just to journal in. Okay, so this is my messy paper that I already had done some stuff on, but I wanted to add some of that teal in there. So I kind of put it on the, um, the moth. So I know it looks kind of messy, but once I cut him out, I think he's going to look really cool. Okay, so now, so right now I'm cutting down a, it's just like a thin piece of chipboard, but I'm going to make a cover to make the, the journal, um, the journal cover for the, for the book. And, um, I am not very good at At what? At measuring. Do you need help with the cutting? All right, so this is 12, so we're going to do 5. I don't know if you guys can even see this in the video, if it's even in there, but um, but this is my... 
this is my piece. It's still a little bit wet in certain places. And I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I'm not really sure if the camera picks up all of that. But um, maybe if I turn it like this way. I don't know. I'm not sure if you can see the shimmer on there. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'll die cut him. And then this maybe here, I might be able to make, make like a bookmark out of this piece over here. And then who knows, we we'll, could probably, um, keep those other pieces for something. I love the shimmer. I wish you could see the shimmer in real life because yeah. it's really very cool. The shimmer. All right. So let me grab the the die so I can go over and cut this out and okay all right Annabelle says love the <laughs> um Justin Bianchi just joined Justin Bianchi just joined that's my oh, husband boy. oh boy and he said, what's in the spray bottle and what's it for? This is water. And that's to spray Corinne. Um, <laughs> um, not exactly, but... So you use that for when you want to... Um, when you want to activate the inks or... Yeah. When you want to activate the Wonder Twins. Wonder Twins, activate! Form of Dolphin! <laughs> Kelly is in rare form today, y'all. Well, I'm, you said you weren't feeling. I know. I was. I so I'm going to. I'm working in double time. Or she's trying to really make me laugh and cheer me up. For those of you who didn't hear, um, in case you popped in, I know a lot of people weren't there when I first mentioned, but um, a friend of mine passed away this morning. Um, and so I got that news basically right before we were starting. So literally right before. <sighs> so yeah. So Kelly is trying to, she's with Jesus. And so I am very grateful for that. And she's lived a long, full and amazing life, but she will be very missed. And um, yeah, so that's why Kelly's trying to be silly. And, and also and this yeah. is just the way I am. That's that too. Okay, so now when you saw it on here, I realized it probably looked kind of meh, but look at how cool that turned out when it was cut out. Do you see that? Oh, that's, that's amazing. so cool. Okay, so there it is. Um, there it is cut out. I know. I've, I'm, a, I'm sorry about the lag. There's like this delay with us. So I'm looking at the screen. Yes, Deed says keep the cats away from the craft space. Yeah, that's another good good way to use the spray bottle. Um, but I was wondering what awesome. she was, why she said that. Oh, oh yeah, like, my brain is not. Working there's so today. many conversations going on. <laughs> We're just like, wait, what? What are we saying? Who's saying what? Thank you, Tina. I appreciate it, and I think um, somebody else had mentioned it too. Oh, Leanne, yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Um, yeah, just pray for um, just pray for her friends and family and everyone that loved her and her church. She was a big part of um, a local church here, and so she is going to be very, 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 very missed. Me and wash tape lately. Just don't. So, I'm loving painting with the Lindy's, like just adding a little bit. So I just added some of that Lindy's with the shimmer oh. in some of those places where I want it to be a little bit darker. I still had some of the Lindy's on my brush. So now it's not dry yet, obviously. I'm just going to let it sit here and dry. But the shimmer with the pigment, the right. deep pigment, is going to be really pretty. And I'm kind of adding some of that to my... Um, to my other images over here. So right now I'm just hodgepodging my um, junk journal cover together using um, washi tape, which me and the washi tape are not friends today. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, should I be laughing? Yes, you that, should. Okay. 
Yeah. It's like, this like washi tape is just not cooperating. No. Maybe it's um a um just a junkier washi tape. I mean, for lack of a better term. Well, it shouldn't Some be. Wash... It's Dina Wakely. Uh oh. Sorry, Dina. I know. You know how some yes. some washies they like they're just junk. They just don't even you can't even get them to pull away from um the spool. I don't know. I don't know what you would call that, but sometimes it just works and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm using um different uh I pulled a couple different green green washies this morning. Okay. So I'm kind of just putting you took this green. Thing I did. I very seriously. I'm just totally running with it. Very seriously. Um. Okay. So I'm loving this. I'm loving this moth. Yeah, the moth is absolutely with the the paper that you used. Lindy's magical. Yes. Yes. I just have to be careful I don't burn myself trying to dry it over here. Yes. Uh, I don't have my tweezers nearby, so. All right. So there's my cover. Just very. Um, very what? <laughs> um, what's the word? Um, I don't know. Like. Janky? <laughs> Yes. I don't know. I'm like, what were Very, uh, a very trailer park. Um, <laughs> Stop. Sorry, if anybody lives in a trailer park, it's not meaning to be. You are so funny. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, there we go. See? So, that'll be cool. See? See? So, here's my, um, I added that Lindy's Pearl, or Lindy's, not Pearls. What are they called? Magicals. Magicals um to like a couple darker spots and i just love how it looks it's so cool i think i might have to add some white paint oh, pen though some... to add some highlights to this okay so so who's still with us janice the moth looks amazing thank you i love the moth Yes, I love the moth, and I love that it's pretty big. Okay, look. No, you're shocked. Found some green ribbon. Whoa! Some to put our uh, to put my junk journal together. So now, all right. I'm trying to use my paint pen. If you guys know anything about Posca pens, they you do need to get them started, and um, sometimes you have to kind of because the liquid inside separates from the paint. Keep it separated. Need... Oh my gosh. And you need to get it to mix together so you can get that nice rich white color. Speaking of mix, have you seen the new um, new Chex Mix commercial? I don't have TV. Oh, that's I don't right. have like cable or anything. Oh, <sighs> so probably not. It's unless it, they play it on. Well, they do play it on like Hulu and stuff, oh, but I uh, think it because I think we, it's going to be a Super Bowl ad. Oh, okay. We have Hulu, but we don't have um, we have no ads. Yeah, it's so. With, is it funny? It is. It's with that um, <laughs> that song. I like Chex Mix and I cannot lie. Oh, brother. Those other mixes can't. Whatever. Oh, Deny. my God. <laughs> oh, my word. It's actually pretty. It's oh, pretty comical. That's crazy. All right. So now. So this junk journal is not um like. Um, okay. So I added some white highlights. Threaded in stitched in mm -hmm. whoa but it's also not really tight so so you could oh my goodness apparently i cannot hold this this moth it's like impossible but i added some white highlights just to kind of make it pop a little bit more <laughs> oh 
I'm I'm literally cracking up right now. I'm not going to respond to that. I'll let you. <laughs> so you are going to re. I'm going to have to force it. I'm going to with probably like something a Mod Podge or something to go over it. Yeah, yeah. I That's need so to. Um, this is just so that. Um, Okay, well, let's let's ask the question. Okay. Let's make sure everybody saw the question. Oh, yeah. Good so, question. Deborah Pate says she's confused. Why would you use washi to hold your cover together when washi doesn't hold up? Or did I miss something? Did you put it together with something more permanent? Then added the washi for decor. Has washi improved? <laughs> well, no. No. Um, Technically, washi hasn't improved. Now, some are better than others. They mm -hmm. do stick better than others. Um. But, um, it was really just to get it together. Like you, yes. you were just trying to get it together so I could, so, she so could. when we end this live, I can show you a semi finished journal. Um, and, um, Deborah, just so you know that. Um, if you know anything about me and what you'll learn if you continue to watch us is everything I do is confusing. <laughs> there are no <laughs> rules. There are no rules with Kelly. No. So if, she, so if, if there's a product. Yes. That, you know. That it's you, supposed you, to be used. You know, it's supposed to be used one way. She going to she gonna use it a different way. No. And I she's going to make it happen. Absolutely. She, she has, she doesn't care. She make doesn't it care. happen, Captain. She doesn't, she will just, it will be what it will be. And Kelly is going to It'll be just let it, it happen. Be. So, let it be. Um, love it be. And she, she's just over here singing. I don't even, I don't even know what's happening right now, you guys. I really, <laughs> honestly. Tina says she loves, she loves my your energy. energy. Okay. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm so glad. I'm. Thank I'm you, really, Tina. I'm, I appreciate that. <laughs> and this is literally how I am. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if your yeah. husband is still if on. If my husband's still on, he could literally attest to this. Yes. He could literally attest to it. Um, But no, seriously, she'll, if it doesn't cooperate, I'm sure she will, Um, like I said, you could, you can slather some, uh, I can't even think Mod Podge or a, like another matte gel medium or yes. some kind of an adhesive to or a sealant to go over the washi to make it, you know, stay in place. So there is that, there is that option. Yes. So, um, and I really need to be watching our time because it's like 11 already. I know. 1103. I need to finish this page because we've really, how has it been that long? I don't know. How in the world has it been that long already? I really don't mm -hmm. know. But I, this needs to be done. I'm feeling like I need Because y'all are going to be like, please stop talking. Justin said, I hereby do swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should have solemnly swore. You solemnly swear yeah. that uh, Kelly is just being Kelly. She's awesome. Thank you. We love her. So Trish says gotcha. she's such a perfectionist. She needs some Kelly to rub off on her. Thank you. But see, that is why we work so well together. Yes. Because I am not, this is hard for me. This is even hard for me. But Kelly has rubbed off on me and helped me to loosen up a little bit when it comes to this kind of stuff. And then in some ways I've rubbed off on her. Yes. Because she will, you know, create some more clean things. Not <laughs> Super often, <laughs> but like her card making, some of that has yes, changed a little bit. It has. Like more with the measurements, you know, she <laughs> might try to be more, more, more exact with the measurements, you know. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm digging myself a hole. You're fine. <laughs> no, it's so hilariously oh accurate that I'm dying. Okay. That I can't okay. even. Yeah, she just she doesn't care about measurements. No. Oh, this isn't the right size. It's fine. Okay, I'm not it's building a building fine. here. It's okay. <laughs> nope. Nope. My husband's the engineer. I am Oh my word, literally. I'm dying. <sighs> yeah. 
I am dying. Okay, so what do I want this to say? I really am just dying. Okay, so let me show you another stamp set from the February release. You guys are getting all kinds of sneak peeks today. This is a fun new alpha called Typewriter Alpha, and it has um, lowercase caps and um, numbers, which is awesome. So you can... Um, you can use it for card making, for scrapbooking, for junk journaling, Bible journaling, all the things. And it's going to be awesome, I promise. So I love the size of it. I think I might try to stamp out some kind of a phrase. Um, Multi-versatile. It is, yes, it's excellent. Actually, now that I think about it, it is our product of the month. For February. Oh, really? So, yes. So, this is a $16 stamp set, and I think it's free this month, not this month, February, with your $75 order So from Sweet and Sassy. So, um, that is an awesome, awesome deal. Yes. $16.95 stamp set for free. Okay. So, what do I want this to say? I don't even know. And I got to figure out where I want this guy to go. I think I'm gonna have him. I just love him. I don't even. I. I'm no, like, it. Man, he's so cool looking. Maybe it's a she, but I. I made it a he. I don't know. It's gonna be fine. All right. So let's see what else. So you're over here washing some more. Pages or what? So I um, found like a um, flash card, like a kid's flash card. Yeah, that's and fun. and it's green. So I'm. Listen, she takes it very seriously. I'm washing it down um, on one of the pages, and I'm making a little flap. See, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm totally reminding myself of my mom right now. This is not, this, I think this pad needs to be re I'm not sure, but it's, like, it's not great. All right, let's see if I can make this happen. So I want... Esther said she's a um, perfectionist. Yes. And Leanne said that's a nice alpha. Thank you. All right, I hope I just spelled this word right. I want to do guide my steps um, because I have been praying about some things and I'm, did I spell it right? Yeah. Is that correct? Because it looks really weird to and me. And you should definitely sudden. check if you spelled it right after you stamped it. So. I know, but I had already looked at it and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's right, but you know, we would just cover it if it was wrong. <laughs> so the word guide is so strange. That's why I was like second yeah. guessing myself. But I want to, wanted to say guide my steps because I am just praying about some things right now. And I thought that would be a good thing to say. And it sort of makes me think that I'm like, this makes me think that I'm like walking in the woods or something. Like, or mm -hmm. through the secret garden. Through your path? Through my path. See, how, how perfect Look at is that. that? Seriously? Whatever. So guide my steps. We didn't even try that. No. Um, yep, we didn't even try that. Guide. Don't mind me. I have to talk to myself when I do this kind of stuff. Make sure I'm spelling it right. Not forgetting a word. Does anybody else do that? Spell it over and over. <laughs> Say it over and over. Well, and if you did spell it wrong, then you could just make up a new word. This is true. Or I would just stamp on something else and, you know, cover it, which has happened a time or two in my life. Okay, we really need to wrap this up. We really need to. I'm sorry, guys, that we are taking so long. So I'm going to do, since I only have one capital S, I'm going to just do step, and then I'll add the S later, like afterwards. Guide my step. <laughs> And then we'll just do this separately. I know that's probably a no-brainer, but sometimes we struggle with that. Well, what do I do if there's only one? 
Well, the awesome thing is stamps can be reused, not like stickers where you're like, oh shoot, I don't have enough of that letter. Yes. Right? But if you do have stickers and you like need two Ooh, E's, you, have a great tip? you can always use a three backwards. There you go. Another thing you could probably do if, it, if it's, well, it depends on how it's done, but if if there's like a the negative of the E, mm -hmm. like if the whole sheet is of stickers is like, oh yeah, it's all sticker. You yes. could like cut, cut a out. square almost. I mean, obviously it would look like a ransom note, but <laughs> that's okay because we're art journaling over here. Yes. Okay, this goes over here. Let me show you my progress. Mm -hmm. I need to add. I need to add my my little guy in here. Okay, I'm not popping him up, but I am going to have his wings kind of raised. I mean, they'll flatten later, but... Okay, I'm going to have to stop here because we need to be done. Yes. I'm going to show them. Yeah. So here is my art journal page. And I might add some more stuff to it. I'll probably add some more texture and squiggles, but, um, you know, just some, I'll probably add some black to it, some in different places, but it we're going to stop really there. Cool. All right. It's so here's cool. my little journal that I made with my green papers. Um, this is totally upside down, <laughs> but that's okay. So... Next time, I guess next week I'll show you, I'll finish binding it, and then I can show you what it looks like all together, but these are fun. This You're is, going I did green. this today with the stencil, Renew Release. Here's my page with my path background. Yeah. Oh, and then maybe I'll, uh. Maybe I'll use Cut my... that up and add that in there, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll add it to my cover. So that'll... It'll be it'll be something. So, yeah. It's hard to make a it, whole it, it journal in an, an hour. Well, and yeah. And I was actually like, ooh, it's hard to do this in an hour. An art journaling page, too. But that's okay, because we're learning, and we don't know what we're doing, and it's just a hot mess, and we are... We're just grateful for your attention. Yeah. <laughs> for, for hanging out with us. Um, Justin's question was, what are you, what are you sticking, sticking letters? the letters to when making words? A clear block. Acrylic block. To stamp. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Because he doesn't know anything about stamping. Oh. And how is that possible? I know. You're slacking. Teach that man some stamping. Dan actually can stamp and create things. That's true. Justin. Yeah. Goals. Goals. Both look amazing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us today. So we are coming. <laughs> Justin said to sad face. Sorry, Justin. <laughs> We're going to get you there. Promise. Yes. Um. So we are going to be back in a week because of our schedule situation. We're going to do this again in a week. So join us next Monday. And we don't know what we're doing yet, but we will let you know. Yeah. Um, it will be, I'm sure, crazy, and we'll make a mess. I don't think and... we know what we're um, what we're going to be using yet. No. So we'll probably figure it out like the night before. <laughs> yeah. Like we did this time. Yeah. But stay tuned so, to stay see tuned. what's happening on the Corinne and Kelly show. That's right. And maybe Esther will send us her scraps by then, and we could uh, do something oh, yeah. fun. We'll yeah. see. So we'd we'll have see, to get those but... by Friday. Okay, guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Okay.